finds something that he loves and then he just goes at it and very, very passionately. With Corey, he leads by example. Um, you know, you wouldn't ask somebody to do something he wouldn't do himself. He's just got an outstanding work ethic that he's had his whole life. I just love the way he has gone after this CrossFit business and not, not just to build the business, but to help other people. He's always dependable. He's always there for me no matter what. Um, he's, he's very, like, he sees the good in people and brings it out in them. We're not here to do the minimum. Guys, your number one asset right now is keeping a cool head. It does not matter if you miss, it only matters if you let that beat you, okay? Step through the rope and start again. It doesn't really matter what your goal is in the end point, um, it's going to take some work to get there. And sometimes that work isn't all that gloriful, sometimes that work isn't all that acknowledgeable, and some people don't even recognize all the work that, that you've done. The, the single driving factor behind what Corey and I are doing when we wake up every single day is to give people the freedom to pursue what they are passionate about. Fitness gives people that ability, that freedom to pursue it. It goes back to our culture and, and part of why we are called farmland here. Both my partner Corey and I, we grew up on farms working hard over the summers, you know, just like on a hot day like today, 95 degrees, you still got a lot of stuff to do. And we found a lot of value in having to sort of tackle odd, uh, odd challenges that would come up working on a farm. Nine. Ten and 45. All right, nice job. We met in 2010. We're at our CrossFit Level 1 um, certification down in Milwaukee. And that's where we really formally introduced to each other and, and kind of got a taste for, for each other's style. We were just seeing, like, is this something that, that would work for a community? And uh, ended, up, ended up sitting down one day at a coffee shop. I remember Corey walking in, and we, we had worked out several times. And, and he comes in and goes, you want to do this thing? I was like, yeah, so we sat down and, and we drew it up on the back of a coffee stained napkin and there and there we had it. The one thing that we have going on in our facility is community. Uh, community that there are many people that they may not necessarily have a hobby interest of that other person, but, but they will simply encourage that person and be a community member with that person, know their name, and, and again, share in their passion, their, their, their goal. There's something really different and unique about here. I can tell that everybody really cares. One of the things I teach here is intensity and consistency. I find me pushing myself more, not uh, procrastinating as much. And so it is, it's, it's, it changes you mentally. Yeah, I'm 5'4 and I'm moving that huge tire. It's, it's something to be proud of, really. Corey and I's relationship is really just an extension about CrossFit's community as a whole. I think CrossFit does a really good job of opening up their community to anyone. They have a very low barrier to their fitness. When I found CrossFit, the very thing that struck me was that, hey, here is this, here's these group of people. These are, by all standards, mutant people. They are very fit, more fit than I've ever seen anyone, but they are so welcoming. The only requisite they have is that you have to work hard and show up. And I was like, I can do that. It's, it's an environment where people can grow and be supportive to one another. Making the strength and conditioning world and, and the human performance world accessible to people no matter what level that they're at. When you start sometimes sharing uh, some blood, sweat, and tears with people, obviously, yeah, you, you feel like you become just like a team. If you have the ability to step up to a challenge every single day and you, and you pile those challenges day by day next to each other, you're going to gain confidence, you're going to gain courage. All of a sudden we have this community of people that, that really stand above the rest as far as 
very fit, very healthy, very confident people who are doing things in the world that they are passionate about, which we have always seen helps make the world a better place. So for us, it's, it's just kind of part of the whole. There's not one thing that it means to me other than like every day. My entire life is CrossFit now. When I first started working here, I, I was unable to even jump. So the thought of lifting a tire was just not in my, not in my realm of realities. You can call CrossFit a fad, you can call it whatever you want, an extreme fitness program. We don't think it's extreme to want to be your best every single day and to work hard for that.